G'day, Steve Morgan, Fishing Monthly Magazine's great, but windy day here in South East Queensland, one of the first days of winter. Got one of the brand new Stessel Platrix two hulls behind me here. It's the Trophy 560, and it's built on an established and very, very popular Stessel model. It's the centre console with the uh, with the T-top above it, um, and it's built on the new Platrix two hull. Now, Platrix is uh, a word which describes the bulletproof uh, construction of this plate aluminium hull behind me here and we're going to talk to Mark Johnson in a while about exactly what that is. This configuration is really really popular with fishermen and it seems the further north you go the more popular it is. 360 degrees of fishing all the way around it, plenty of room for your rods up above and, uh, and lots of capacity for a big day or in fact a weekend away. Now we're going to talk to Mark Johnson from Stessel about some of the technical aspects of this boat. Platrix is the Stessel way of construction. Uh, Platrix is unique to Stessel. Um, it is a play on the words plate and matrix and the underfloor construction of the boat is full height frames and bulkheads, uh, fully welded, um, that support uh, the entire frame. The floor on the boat then uh, is just an addition. We can, we can run with a number of different options. We do fully welded floors uh, for those guys that are serious serious fishermen um, and then we do right down to timber floors uh, for Queensland fishermen where you're fishing in bare feet and you want something more comfortable. Um, the floor isn't structural, uh, the boat is an integral in itself uh, with that method. Listening to customer feedback um, and always looking for ways to innovate. Um, for 2020 we've bought out Platrix 2, the new Platrix 2 hull. Um, in essence we've widened the boat by uh, 10% at, at the chine level um, and increase the reverse uh, reverse pressings. Uh, this gives a, a, a drier ride, uh, a bit better lift and a lot more stability at rest so the boat has a much more sure footed feel to it. Across the Tesla range we've bought out a new series of consoles. They're all satin black just for a new look. Um, our side consoles, centre consoles of which this is one um, have all undergone a transformation to allow more room for electronics um, and just to give the boat the, the model a fresh look. This console, the console behind us, has the optional uh, hardtop, aluminium hardtop, um, which is fold away, um, and as is the screen, so that you can get into a garage if you have to. Uh, in, in this model we have the traditional box seat, uh, just for storage, and the backrest uh, rotates backwards or forwards, so you can sit fishing out the back, or you can sit while you're at the helm and you've got a backrest. One of the challenges in, in a fishing boat is where to put all your gear. Um, in the trophy we have a, a front casting deck with two big hatches underneath there so there's plenty of room for gear under that. Also there's a shelf under the console which has got room for storage and then the seat box itself is, where, is, a, is a really handy storage for life jackets and bits and pieces that you need to get to quickly. Uh, because the boat has such a wide beam, it's 2.45 metres at the, at, the, at the gunnel and we've increased the, the width of the chine now, um, the boat will sit above the mud guards on the trailer um, but for easy access on land there is a fold down dive ladder and a transom door which is standard on every Stessel model. Uh, the trophy being a a purely fishing or, or an ideal fishing platform um, with the casting deck, uh, the walk around console. Uh, this boat has a bait board with bait station with a bait tank underneath it. So if you're fishing that style of fishing, it, it's there. Painted in the same satin black to match the rest of the boat. Um, and also under floor, there's a, a kill tank which drains through the transom. Um, so it is ideally set up for fishing. Well that's some great insight there from Mark and these boats are built only just up the road here in Coomera so at Fishing Monthly we love to get this thing on the water so let's take out the trophy and come back to you with some performance statistics.
Well, there you go. What a cracking day it's ended up here on the Gold Coast and a great day to take this 560 trophy out into its natural environment, out in the ocean. A uh, little bit of wind chop as you got offshore, but uh, in behind the beach, beautiful day. Could really put the 560 trophy with the 115 Yamaha to the test out there. No swell really to speak of, but with the open platform on this boat, you can drive it and it can be wet. So into the sea, away from the sea, no worries. Quartering a sea with a 25 knot westerly, you can get a little bit wet. So just be careful how you drive it if you want to keep your occupants dry. The big Stessel console though, if you're the driver on the right side of it, no problems at all. This new console takes a lot of heritage from a, an edge tracker and from the other Stessel boats that we've tested recently. It's got those uh, customizable, colourable sort of drop-in sections that you can flush mount really big electronics in. Works really well in the small boats but also works really well in these big boats. This is designed as a serious fishing boat. It's not a family fishing boat, it's a fishing boat. It's got 360 degrees of access. It's got the kill tank and the bait well built in, and it's got that raised front casting deck where you can get up there and cast lures if you like. It's supplied on a single axle trailer, and it's about at the limit of what you can put uh, boat weight-wise that you can put on a single axle trailer, but combine that with that folding T-top and you can probably jimmy that into most garages. So if storage is important for you, if you like storing it inside, you may very well be able to get this into the garage. This boat and the, the, all of the Playtrix hulls have always featured a reasonably steep dead rise and a really rigid hull with a solid build and it feels solid out on the water. There's obviously an abundance of aluminium under the deck. Stability wise, we test these boats they're always pretty light. They've got a couple of fishing rods, a bit of fuel in them, and two or three people. I think this hull will actually ride better and better the more weight that you put in it. So if you're gonna go away for a weekend, you wanna load a couple of hundred kilos of gear in it, and the full 175 litres of fuel that this thing holds, I think it's gonna just ride better and better the more weight that you get in it. This boat's powered with Yamaha's 115 horsepower four-stroke engine, and although you can put 140 horsepower on it, this boat still achieved 61 kilometres an hour uh, at 6,100 RPM. Now we didn't have any fuel metering on this boat that would give us an accurate fuel metering but uh, rest assured the 175 litres with that 115 would have at least 350 kilometres of range for you to go and get in trouble on a weekend. Price wise, $53,000 as tested here which puts it at the lower end in the price zone for, uh, for most of the true plate aluminium boats. Um, if you want more information on any of the trophy range or in fact any of the new Stessel Playtrix 2 boats, visit www.stessel.com.au and if you like uh, Facebook, make sure you like Stessel Boats for all of their latest releases and when they're going to be at boat shows if we ever have boat shows again after COVID. But uh, on a fine winter's day, Steve Morgan checking out Fishing Monthly Magazines.